Welcome again to another Skyward Tips and Tricks tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to run a missing grade report. Okay, so in our training environment, I'm going to come up here to the hamburger, stacks of pancakes, breakfast or lunch, depending on the day. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to come down to Gradebook. In Gradebook, if you look under Missing Assignments, you have a report that's already a um, standard report available to teachers. So I'm going to click Missing Assignments, and it's going to bring up the template generator for Missing Assignments. So, <clears throat> first of all, we're going to start off with um, looking at what is required. So you can pick Grading Period Start Date. So if I click, let's say I'm going to look for... Okay, I can do the end date if I want to. So it's going to look in there. You can also do an alternative start stop date if you'd like to pick something from the beginning of January to the end of to this time. Now here's the thing. Sometimes teachers want it for just one section or they want it for all of their classes at one time. So if we click our little magnifying glass, I can come down here and I can say, I want it for all classes. Now maybe there's some, I don't want student aid, so I'm going to take them out. And then it's going to have all the rest of my classes in here. So I'm going to click Done. <clears throat> Most of this information is not relevant unless we want to do high-low grade levels, stuff like that. But here's the thing. If I want a piece of paper that I can hand each student and say, here's your missing assignments, this is it, I would say yes. It will print a page per student. Okay. If I just want a general list for myself, I'm going to hit No. I'm going to exclude students that don't have any missing assignments. Yes, I don't need to print anything for them. I can hide assignment details, or I can show the details. If I hit no, that means it's going to show them the assignment name, the due date, and all the details that went. <clears throat> if we need to have a parent sign this generator, if we're doing a page break by student, and we're going to want to say, I want your parents to sign that they saw this, you can have that. For right now, I'm going to tell it no. And I'm also going to say I don't need to see comments because this is for me as the teacher. Now let's say I have this all done. I don't want to type all this stuff and click everything again. So I'm going to hit save as new. I'm going to do it's a missing grade report for all classes. Okay. And I will hit save. The next time I want to come in and run this, all I have to do is hit my drop down arrow and I have this. All I have to do is select it. I don't have to fill all this in. I will have to change where I'm looking for my start and stop dates. Once I have this in, I click run report. Wait, just depending on how long, how many students you have. And up pops your grade report. <clears throat> I can now download this, export it to a CSV. I can print it out. And I can um, <clears throat> save this until another date. So it's going to have all the student information that I have all on this one sheet. And that's how you do a missing grade report.